learned that I really wanted to dress up in a suit and tie for the rest of my life, and then we started the food truck five years after college. Food trucks just started to get really, really big in the city at the time. So I was like, you know what would be crazy? If I started our home. We work 16 hours a day, and then we go back and have to fold the dumplings and all that. So it was a lot of work in the beginning. Lynn, who's been with us for over a year now, is correcting me on stuff. And I think it's really like you can't really have an ego as a boss. And I think that's kind of how we've grown. I just surround myself with people that can help me grow the business. And I think as a business owner, that's what you have to do. Our day is kind of crazy. We started our base kitchen at 8 a.m. We'll do all the food prep. We'll pack sauces. We'll load the truck. Our goal is to get here around 1030 to our spot so we can start cooking. We do all the cooking on the truck. So it's not really, it's pretty involved, you know, get the grills warmed up, get the fryers going. Once we do that, we open up by 11 and literally everything, all the work leading up to that is jam packed into a three hour service. We're only open to 2.30. So we've really got to be on top of our game. Our staff's got to know what they're doing. We got to be a well-oiled machine. Yeah, this was uh, a whole new thing for me. I'd done serving before. But that was pretty much the extent of my uh, experience with any kind of food or the food industry. So this job really kind of like forced me to open myself up and, and learn something that I've never done before, which is cooking food to like high volume and also good quality. Keeping up with making sure the food goes out quickly and with high quality while dealing with the heat is probably the hardest thing. It's allowed me and my wife to get our own place, starting our family and everything. The salary's been nice, it's been good for us. It's crazy a lot of the times, but it's really, really fun. I'll never regret the decision, ever.